of what? Are you blind? This city is rotten to the core. They're all under the control of Osiris. Lucky for me, the Lotus didn't have its usual effects. That's how I realized he was watching us. He? Who are you talking about? Well, that is, I'm not sure. My memory plays tricks on me sometimes. But he's powerful. Very powerful. He knows how to blend into the shadows. He's almost invisible. But for someone who knows where to look... I'm looking for a friend. His name is you... No names. No names. It's far too dangerous. He sees us. He observes us. our journey in this world through the divine libation. What are you doing here? Kneel before your god or go away. Above all, do not disturb us during the ritual. What's your name? Leodamia is my name. And I am the priestess of Osiris, the god of the lotus. For whom was this temple built? This temple is dedicated to the founder of our city, the guide of us all. You seem to be an important person here. Do you know if Ulysses, the king of Ithaca, has already come here? There was indeed a certain Ulysses who came through our lovely city. I don't know if he was a king. He seemed to me to be more like an adventurer trying to get home. He left, you say? Do you know in which direction? When one of us decides to abandon the Lotus, nobody knows what becomes of him. Perhaps he ventured too close to the Cursed Forest? That could explain this sudden disappearance. I didn't see any Cursed Forest in the vicinity. It's called that because all those who entered it never came back. Despite my own great wisdom, I do not know its location, but, in truth, I do not want to know. All of you seem to worship the same god, as well as this drink. It is the blessing of Osiris. Thanks to him and to this decoction, we understand the world better. We see without illusion. We can no longer be deceived. That is why we thank him within this temple. And does this exceptional vision enable you to have some insight into what happened to my friend? 
The lotus will bring you what you are seeking. Immerse yourself and you shall find. Therefore, traveller, Stranger, take advantage of the generosity of this city. Who are you who seem to be in such a good mood? I'm called Polypoetus. I was a soldier, and now I'm enjoying a well-deserved retirement in the city of contentment and felicity. I've just arrived here. Perhaps you can help me. Where am I? That's the funny thing. I haven't the least idea. Do you know if a man called Ulysses passed this way? Ulysses, Ulysses, Ulysses. The name does ring a bell, but a commander or a king who's now somewhere in my past. No, I must be wrong. But it seems so real. Try to remember. I know that Ulysses came through these parts. More I think of it, the more... No, I can't even recollect a face anymore. But it doesn't matter. If your friend came here, I doubt that he left again. It seems that the Lotus allows me to communicate with the residents of this city. I can feel other curious changes. Can you tell me if the effects, however powerful, take a long time to wear off? Take some of it! Take some more! Take it forever. As long as you take it, your life will be ever sweeter. What do you know about this forest around us? Forget its very existence, my friend. It's far too dangerous, and no one has ever returned from it. That is, of those who are even able to penetrate it. We must take the necessary steps. Yes, traveler, what do you want? Good day to you. I've just arrived in this marvelous city, and I was wondering... Who in the world are you? Why, I'm Dyrus, of course. The king of this city. What is this building you're working in? You are now in the seat of the secular power of this land. This is the palace of the king. I would like to find someone who passed through this city whose name is Ulysses. Ulysses, you say? No, the name means nothing to me. Let me just inform the commander of my army of your search. I'm told that no Ulysses came here to introduce himself. Therefore, he hasn't been in this land. The drink I had to swallow to communicate with everybody seems to rule this city. Can you tell me more about it? Of course! I built my monarchy upon this substance. It's a gift from heaven. Thanks to it, my subjects are happy. Nobody complains. I've been told that the nearby forest might shelter people who had decided to abandon the lotus. Balderdash! Nobody would dare enter that forest. It's far too dangerous. In any case, no one's ever managed to enter it.
They say that people who want to escape the Lotus try to get into the nearby forest. Do you believe in that story of the enchanted forest? No. That's just another of his tricks. You see, he'll send you there, but resist in the name of the gods. If not, you'll never come back.
Welcome to the world of the living. Who are you? I'm Croesus. I'm one of the oldest residents of this city. What's the name of this city of madmen? This city has no name. The people you've seen are lotus eaters. They don't need to name their city since it exists only for them. This drug? It's derived from the lotus. That plant is a veritable goddess for this city. I feel as if I were... incomplete. That's normal. The drug you took has altered your perception of reality. In that way, you could enter into the reality of the residents of this city. But the effects take a long time to wear off. That's just one of its inconvenient features. It has many of them? Mm, no, but the ones it has are grave. The lotus brings on a gradual loss of memory, leading to madness and then death. Did Ulysses, the king of Ithaca, come through this land? Yes, but for the moment that's hardly your main problem. The drug doesn't seem to have affected you much. Don't trust appearances. If I seem to be in good shape, it's only because I've learned to master my wants and my needs. And has your memory remained reliable? By controlling the dosage, I manage not to suffer too much. How will I manage to get rid of this nasty stuff that's circulating within my body? That will be quite hard, but the bright side is that you don't become a lotus addict with a single dose. Soon your body will cry out for more lotus, and you'll go into a period of weaning yourself from the drug. Your only hope is the forest of oblivion that surrounds us. That will get you away from this city and its temptations. You will meet others who, with their magic, will help eliminate the residue from your body. From your words, I gather that the process is not risk-free. That's right. The journey will not be a restful one. The danger will come chiefly from yourself, from your thoughts and your fears. But you will have to face all that, for it's only by conquering this struggle that you will succeed in totally ridding yourself of the lotus. I can't say that the prospect thrills me, but if it's the only way... Follow me now.